cooler full of beer. Check. Hammock. Camping gear. Sleeping bag. Stuff to catch fish with. What's up guys, I'm Drew. Headed to the uh, into the Ozarks, chase wild rainbow trout. Pack the spam. It's gonna be a good time. Good morning, it's about 6 a.m. Um, just had a cup of coffee, um, put the fire out. Gonna get my stuff on. Uh, beautiful morning, it's about 55 degrees. No one around, lots of birds, you hear them. Pretty much woke me up last night, the birds were. I plan on getting up by six, but the birds started chirping about five, so decided to get up and get coffee early. Need to make some breakfast, gonna pack up, uh, go find some wild trout and some of these little small streams in the Ozarks. Uh, it's gonna be a good day, but uh, can you put the fire out, get the Hamley down. Um, not sure if I'm coming back here tonight or not, I might try another place, but we'll see. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Okay, so I fished for like the first 25 minutes or so, just throwing a caddis, just one small fish swipe at it. So I went and switched up to a nymph fishing. Hopefully, uh, maybe as the day goes on, I might get into that hatch and throw some mayflies and maybe some caddis. But uh, I'd like to see them rising, but I haven't seen fish rising, and I've seen tons of fish in the pools, and they're just, you know, they're stuck to the bottom. So I'm just gonna nymph it up the rest of the day until, uh, until I see something that makes me want to throw those rise again. All right, guys, I decided to uh, stop and have some lunch, drink a beer. Um, fishing's been really great. Um, dry fly thing didn't work out this morning. It was a little chilly to start with, and uh, but I'm hopeful that tonight it picks up a little bit. It's about three o'clock now. Uh, let, me, uh, let me run through my setup. My rod, seven and a half foot super fine carbon from Orvis. Um, it's a three weight. Leader is a seven and a half foot taper down to three X. I like to tie on about a foot of 4x and fluorocarbon because um, that's where I attach my shot at. So I like the abrasion resistance of fluorocarbon. Plus, I believe in it. I think it has a lot. So after that, I add another foot or so of uh, 5x fluorocarbon to my first fly. Today, I've been switching back and forth, going um, size 16, like my Eager Beaver right there. If you guys can see that, it's on the Eager Beaver. That's just a caddis pattern. Um, 
Uh, when I was using a dropper, I was dropping with a the UniNot um, dropper video that I just did. You want to check that out because I can quickly add a dropper and take it off. So the dropper that I was using most today was just a uh, just a betas. There's some you know some small mayflies coming out, some blue wing olives or whatever. So I was you know had that on through a dry for a little bit. Gonna finish this beer. Um, keep fishing. Maybe uh, start looking for some fish rising and maybe throw some dries. I don't know. It's gonna be a good day. All right guys, so the last fish broke me off. Figured, probably pretty good time to end the day. Fantastic trip, camping. A couple days out here by myself, catching wild rainbows. I can't, like I said, lots of fish, man. This is just this truly special place. So um, yeah, with that, I'm gonna sign off. Um, if you guys like the video, hit the like button. If you wanna subscribe, subscribe. Like I said, got lots of stuff coming out, but uh, was a great day. Thanks for watching.